What's up guys, Dan here, and I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing today. I hope life is great for you, and I hope that you're killing those goals, killing those ambitions that you set for yourself every single day. So you're probably browsing around YouTube and you're looking for ways to make money online, maybe start an Amazon FBA business, uh, or start an online business in general. And the more videos you watch, the more real and the more interesting it gets, and you can't wait to start. But if you're a beginner, you may have some fears or some doubts that are holding you back from starting and are holding you back from you know achieving those goals and getting closer toward your dream life. This is probably your very first online business. Maybe you've never started an online business before. Maybe you've never started you know a business before. Period. And if you do get to that milestone, if you accomplish that milestone of a successful online business, kudos to you because your life will completely change. As soon as you make your first dollar, your confidence will skyrocket and your income will skyrocket as well. Because if you can make one dollar online, it's easy to make ten dollars, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars online, and a million dollars online, you know, whatever your goal is, right? Everybody has different goals. But as soon as you make that first dollar from your online business, you've proven to yourself that you can and you've got the confidence now to do anything. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the three best tips for brand new Amazon sellers. And if you're new to my channel, I've built a booming Amazon FBA business in just over a year. I started about a year ago. And after trying many different kinds of businesses, after trying literally every single thing out there, you know, back then I was literally searching like how to make money online, you know, how to quit my job and make passive income, all this stuff that you're probably searching right now. I found Amazon and here we are today. And I want the exact same success for you because if I can do it, anybody can do it, trust me. So the very first tip out of these three tips is to let go of all fear. You've got to remove these negative, you know, self-limiting thoughts. You've got to remove any kind of doubt in your mind that this is not for you or that you can't do it or that, you know, you can't make money online and that, you know, maybe you should just go back to working your regular job. Maybe you should just go back to, you know, your day-to-day -day life where things are safe and there's no real risk or anything like that. Remove all that garbage out of there. You have to understand that everybody started at point zero. And I guarantee you that every single successful Amazon on seller right now had absolutely no idea what they were doing when they started. They had absolutely no experience. I would say like most of them, right? Maybe some very, very minimal, um, you know, experience with the internet, maybe like, you know, other different skills that aren't really relatable to Amazon. And that's probably the minority. But the most important thing is that they let go of all fear. They completely removed all fear. They completely removed any kind of doubt. All right, this is entrepreneurship, guys. Like it's not, you know, your typical nine to five job. And if you've chosen this, if this is what you truly want, if you want to live the best possible life that you can live, I guarantee you it will be through entrepreneurship because, you know, entrepreneurship will allow you the freedom to live your dream life. It will provide you that passive income as long as you, you know, you believe in yourself, you remove all kind of fear, you remove all kind of self-doubt that you can't do it, any kind of excuses, throw it out the window, all right? A lot of you, you know, maybe you guys have been trying to find some products lately. Maybe you guys have been trying to do some product research. If you you already know kind of how to look for products to sell on Amazon and a lot of you know a lot of new Amazon sellers do get discouraged because you know they only try for like a day or two right and then you know they complain that they can't find a product well okay you've worked a nine-to-five your whole life you know you've stuck with the traditional path in life and now you know basically to achieve one of the biggest things one of the most life-changing things that will happen in your life if you do get the successful business up and running the successful Amazon business up and running you know they don't even want to put in like you know more than two days all right so You've got to remove all kind of fear, remove all excuses, remove all self-doubt, all right? If anybody can do it, trust me, you can. If I can do it, you can, right? And it's the same thing for all entrepreneurship. Really ask yourself, what is the absolute worst case scenario, you know, if you do lose your starting investment in Amazon? Let's say you're scared. Let's say you're scared to, you know, put in that $1,000 or $2,000 for your first product order, right? Let's say you're scared. And a lot of people are scared. I definitely was scared. I had fear at the beginning, right? But I've always been that kind of person where I always look on the bright side of life. And I told myself, if I do lose that money, I will just learn from my mistake and I will fix it. And, you know, guaranteed I will get it the second or third time. 100%. There's no other way because I would have already known, you know, I would have already done everything that, you know, everything that could possibly go wrong, right? So that's failure. You've got to keep throwing stuff at the wall. Eventually something's going to stick, right? Really ask yourself, if that will hurt you in the long run, all right? People, when they're dying, the worst thing to take with them to the grave is regret. So don't live your life with regret. If you do want to start that online business, start, all right? Just, just start and stop asking questions. Right now is the best time to start. You know that quote? It's like, the best time to start was yesterday, but, you know, the second best time is now, all right? Right now, you've got everything you need. You've got a computer. You've got a laptop. You've got an internet connection. You literally don't need anything else. All success stems from overcoming failure consistently, going from failure to failure without any loss of enthusiasm. All right, my first two products failed, but my third one, my third product succeeded, you know, massively. And I was making more money than I ever thought I would ever make at, you know, 21 years old, let, let alone in my whole life. You absolutely must let go of all fear, all excuses, all doubt, all right? Because this is all in the mind right here, okay? You know, I don't know if anybody else tells you this, but Amazon, right, or any other business, it's all right here, it's all in the mind. 
You've got to understand that if you can control this and if you can think for yourself and if you control the thoughts that go into your mind, if you can just have unrelentless self-esteem, self-confidence, being like, hey, you know, they're not special, okay? I'm not special either, but they're not special either, okay? No one is special. So I can do this, they can do this, no problem. Now, if you're thinking of giving up, if fear is stopping you and, you know, if you're experiencing self-doubt, which is natural, ask yourself if, you know, giving up, because the easiest thing would be to give up, right? Ask yourself if giving up will lead you to your dream life. Right? If giving up and just going back to your mediocre, pathetic job, you know, pathetic nine to five, pathetic boss, you know, all this stuff, if going back to this life that you have, you know, maybe right now or whatever it is, all the actions that you've done up until this point in your life have brought you here. All right. So if they brought you to a place where you don't want to be, you know, maybe stuck, you know, in debt or in a job or something like that in a place where you don't want to be, you know, ask yourself if continuing that is going to change anything because I can guarantee you it probably won't. All you must understand is that they did it. I did it. No one is special. Okay, and there is no secret entrepreneurship. There's no secret to success. There is simply consistent effort overcoming failure to failure without any loss of enthusiasm and unrelentless belief in yourself and you know, unrelentless action, continuous action to get to your goal. Tip number two, if you're a beginner, you know, a brand new Amazon seller and maybe you don't have your product up and running yet, you're just you know, still trying to find that product. You know, I would say 95% of people and new entrepreneurs, whether it's you know, Amazon, whether it's any kind of business, they get stuck in what's called analysis paralysis, all right? And what that means is that basically you, you see a product, let's say, right? The numbers are good, the numbers add up, the profit is there, but then, you know, let's say you kind of leave it for a little bit and you go outside and you're, let's say you're walking in the park, or you're walking on the beach, and then you think to yourself, you have these like, you know, limiting kind of thoughts going around, like maybe there's a better product out there, you know, maybe there's something you're not seeing, or maybe, Maybe it's not the best idea, you know, maybe like, let's just not, let's just not do this product. You know, it's easier, right? Your mind will always go back to a safer place and you've got to fight it every single day. You've got to get out of your comfort zone. How are you going to get out of your comfort zone? Well, first of all, by starting entrepreneurship, which you're already doing if you're watching this video, I hope, and you know, getting that product out there because you won't learn without any action. You will not learn. So if the numbers for a product are adding up, if there's profit to be made, all right, then, you know, what are you waiting for? right? Your goal right now, your goal, and I would say this is, you know, this was my goal when I was starting out, is just to make, you know, to prove yourself, to prove to yourself that you can make money online and you can do this for the rest of your life, all right? Because if you can prove to yourself you can make money online, then you can obviously do this for the rest of your life. So you have, you've got to stay focused on the goal. The goal isn't to make a million dollars overnight. The goal isn't to make a hundred thousand dollars a month right now. The goal is to make, you know, five thousand dollars a month. You know, just to replace your, your income right now from your job or $10,000 a month, right? Some of you are trying to go for 20 or 30, right? And that might happen, right? If you choose, it's all in the product you choose and it's all in your mindset, of course. But, you know, you've got to understand that just pay attention and realize, you know, what the actual goal here is, okay? So if you find a product and the, let's say the profit is like 4,000 a month expected, do it. What are you waiting for? By not putting your money into this product, you're literally like, that's like so stupid. Anytime you see a higher return on investment, so let's say, you know, a $4,000 a month product with Amazon and profit, so $8,000 a month in revenue, typically it's, you know, 50% of a margin. Um, so, you know, anytime you see a positive ROI for your money, you know, it's literally stupid not to put that money into something that will bring, bring you back more money, right? It's like, you know, what are you waiting for, all right? So if you find a product, the numbers are good, just do it, okay? And also pay attention to your gut feeling and your instincts because your body's like an early warning system. So pay attention to your, you know, your gut, whether it's telling you if the product is good, if your gut is really telling you like, hey, you know, just make sure that this product is safe to sell. Let's say maybe the product could be restricted. Maybe the product could have some kind of regulations, right? Um, you know, just pay attention to that, all right? And your body's a really good early warning system. But as long as you understand, you know, as long as there's nothing in your gut that's telling you like, don't do it, you know, and if your gut is telling you to do it, you're literally sabotaging your future and you're, you know, delaying your dream life and your success, your future success by not doing this. So if you see a great product, just start, all right? You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to put up like an insane amount of money, okay? Just start with whatever you have and trust me, at the end of it all, you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like, I'm so happy I put my money into that first product. Even if it succeeded, even if it failed, right? For, for some of you, it might succeed, right? But in entrepreneurship, it's from failure to failure. Remember what I said, failure to failure with consistent enthusiasm, okay? If everybody succeeded on their first product, if every single business that started, you know, succeeded, everybody would be rich, everybody would be a millionaire, and, you know, money would just lie on the street, all right? So this is what you have to understand. Stop this analysis paralysis. If the numbers are good, just do it, okay? You know that Nike shirt? Just do it. I actually just read the founder of Nike's uh, book, Shoe Dog, amazing book. So he says, just do it, okay? Stop thinking about it. And now the third best tip for brand new Amazon sellers, emulate success. Now, this is one of the most important entrepreneurship principles that I've learned in my journey 
And it has helped me so, so, so much. It has helped my income. You know, it has helped me really figure things out when I'm trying to get something started. Let's say I'm trying to, you know, do a product on Amazon and I don't really know what to do for the pictures. I don't really know kind of like what logo to put on there, what I should call the brand name. This is when, you know, emulating success, emulating something that already works, right? Essentially going, you know, seeing something, let's say in the case of Amazon, finding a product that you want to kind of model after and then finding that exact same design on Alibaba, which is the supplier website, if you guys already know that, where you find your Chinese supplier, right? So finding that exact same design and then, you know, maybe increasing the quality, right? Maybe making a beautiful logo, a better logo than they have, or maybe addressing some kind of negative reviews on their product, right? So you always want to have a model, you know, of what you kind of want to emulate. Because if that product right there is making 30,000 a month or 40,000 a month or whatever it's making, the person selling it is doing something right, right? And that product has something right. So if you can emulate it, right? And if you can make it, you know, the same or better, you know, you have a pretty good chance at capturing those numbers, all right? Or even more. But at the same time, you don't want to just, you know, copy, especially if the product is not very, you know, if, if you're literally selling like a very basic product, you don't want to just copy, especially if the listing is bad, right? Don't just copy the bad listing, right? Make sure you're finding a, a listing or a product that's actually good. And that way that's actually good. And it gives you ideas, you know, for, to maybe improve the quality, you know, you can read the reviews. People are complaining about, let's say the quality or maybe, you know, whatever it is, right? The texture, I don't know what people would be complaining about, but whatever your product is, right? You know, go ahead and improve it. And then that way build a brand around that, right? And I always say you want to build a brand around your product. That way this is long term because if you only release a product and you know, you just kind of jump from product to product and you're only out there to make money like just now, right? You're not, you know, you're basically not getting rich forever. Okay. You're trying to get rich quick. You're trying to get rich now, right? But I'm trying to get you, I'm trying to get you to get rich for sure. Okay. And how to do that is by always thinking long term. Okay. This is not just like a one week thing. And you know, everybody, 95% of people that try to get into this, they think it's like a one week thing. They're going to find a product and suddenly 50 grand in their bank account, hundred grand in their bank account. That's not how it works. All right. It took me many, many failures to get where I am today. To go from zero to multiple seven figures a year at the age of 22. Trust me, you know, I started from the bottom truly, and it took me many failures. Okay. So, but I want you guys to know it's all worth it in the end. So anyway, I hope that helped you out, especially if you're a brand new Amazon seller, I can say that if I had this information and these tips, when I was first starting out, you know, I would have succeeded so much quicker and I might've not failed on those first two products that I failed at. But anyway, looking back, you know, obviously I am where I am now and you know, no regrets. You never look back. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for the next video. And if you want to find out my top five advanced product research tips that I have for you guys, leave a comment down below right here saying advanced product research tips. All right. And if we can get to a hundred comments saying advanced product research tips, four words, advanced product research tips, then I'll release that video for you guys. And trust me, it's pure gold. And if you're interested in a step-by-step -step blueprint to making six and seven figures a year on Amazon FBA, including my one-on-one -on -one unlimited personal mentorship, so you get me as a mentor for life, and you get access to my personal Facebook profile where you're able to send me messages personally and ask me any questions you have, you know, with passive income, Amazon, or anything like that, then click the link below for the Amazon Freedom course. I will be taking out the mentorship soon. I think it's a vital part of success. I don't want to take on too many people for mentorship. So anyway, guys, click the link below to join. And I'm also going to be giving away $100 on PayPal. And all you have to do is subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave the video a little like, and comment down below your best, most amazing or funniest comment, or maybe, you know, the comment with the most value. And I'll be choosing a comment very, very soon. And whoever wins, you know, the person with the funniest or the best or the most valuable comment is going to get $100 to their PayPal from me. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram down below and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.